for a while, yeah. It was, it was quiet in yeah, Africa. Yeah, there was some quiet time there. We got a lot to talk about here. I haven't seen you in, in a long time. First of all, what have you been up to? What's, what's Dave Chappelle been doing with himself? Nothing, nothing. This guy's screwing out season three. Good, yeah, good to yeah. see you. Yeah. Nice try, Comedy Central. Yeah. That's one of their executives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need the dough. Come on. I, I've, been, I've been really just relaxing and just trying to stay out of trouble. Right, right. Yeah. That's good right, thing to do. because I see, you know, I mean, you know, being a celebrity, your, your realm of getting in trouble is, is worse than the average person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the average dude got to go out and look for trouble. I've been sitting around mind my own business. And dude come up, hey, man, you're Dave Chappelle. I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? He's, hey, I got 12 naked bitches in a hot air balloon. You trying to roll with me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Call me next time, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get out of the house once in a while. I, that's why I just stay in the house. Yeah. It's, and it's funny, because like, when I come out, everybody screams. But when I go home, yes! it's not like that. When that's, you go home, I mean... That's the thing that's important to remember is that when you go home, it's a different situation, right? Yeah, my kids don't even care. They're like, oh, Mr. Promise is back from the road. <laughs> Did you forget all them toys you promised us, Mr. Promise? <laughs> <laughs> and then my wife's still a little salty at me. She's, uh, she's not happy with you right now? Well, she's not mad at me, but don't think you're going to walk away from $50 million and your wife's just going to be cool with it. <laughs> 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 That's an angle I hadn't thought about, yeah. Oh, it was crazy. I, I thought I was going to get the Jerry Maguire, baby, you can be anything you want to be speech. Yeah. It didn't pan out. No. It was more like purple rain around my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what it sounds like when yeah. the doves cry. Now, okay, I've known you for a long time. You've been coming on our show for a long time. I've bumped into you in the street sometimes in New York. You're, you're a very normal down-to-earth guy. You really do seem like you're very unaffected by all this. Do you think that's fair? Well, I'm a little weird, but I'm quirky. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, but, yeah, my life is pretty normal. Like, like, I get amazed by this, too. I was in L.A. doing the Grammys. You know, I wear, I wear wet clothes. I'm on TV in a T-shirt now. Mm -hmm. So I had to get some clothes for the Grammys. So I went to one of these nice Beverly Hills stores. They had, like, a, a restaurant in the store. I never ate soup at a clothing store before. <laughs> But it was real bowling, and I'm eating soup, and I, I look across the room, and, and I see Jessica Simpson. Uh -huh. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's Jessica Simpson. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm famous, baby. So... <laughs> that's right. You could... Yeah, so I, I You was could go like, up and say something. Well, I, that's what I decided. Now, I don't normally do this, but it was Jessica Simpson. I said, let me just see you know, what's going on. So I, I went up, I'm like, uh, hi, Jessica Simpson. Uh, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, my name's Dave Chappelle. I was like, I I'm on TV, too. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, I know who you are. And I was like, I knew it, bitch. I didn't say that to her. <laughs> I didn't say that to her, but... <laughs> you see? But I got excited, I did. <laughs> I was, I was, I was You like, got excited, yeah. Okay. I was on corn. I was like, well, I'm a big fan of your work, which felt weird saying, you know, because right, right. that's not true. <laughs> but uh, I'm, not, I'm not dogging her music. I, right. I don't know her music. I'm talking about the newlywed show, you know right, I mean? right. I've, I've been a newlywed. There's nothing like that show. <laughs> if I made a show about my first year of marriage, it'd be called Bitch, You Tricked Me. <laughs> But, but if you're a, fan, you're a romantic it, fool, yeah. I, no, no, I'm, I love, I'm crazy yeah, yeah, about my yeah. wife. That's why I, I see these jokes. I, me and my wife. Uh, well, you stop shouting at me. I'm <laughs> talking. Uh -huh. But, uh, but, but, I, I, all right, thank you. Yeah. I, so, well, there's the end of the story. Yeah. Well, the crazy part is, you know, she was real nice. If you're a fan of hers, you'll be happy to know she was great. And uh, when I sat back down, as a matter of fact, I was finishing my soup up, and she was leaving. This was crazy. She came up to me as she was leaving. She was like, bye, Dave Chappelle. It's nice to meet you. And she, she gave me some, some sugar. Just a little. She, she gave you a kiss? Yeah, which was crazy. Because I opened my mouth a little bit. I had... I had... <laughs> 
did what you had to do. I had to, I had to. You know, we, uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have more with Dave Chappelle in just a second. Stick around. <laughs> Let's get into this now, because uh, everyone wants to, to hear what, what's been going on. You, uh, you disappeared for a while. People, people were saying, where's Dave? Where's Dave Chappelle? Where's he going? And then uh, it turns out you took a trip to Africa. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't like they said. Right. It was like... Because the stories were, I mean, the stories, as you know, you're hearing all kinds of stuff on the news. It was crazy, man. Well, I, I mean, first, I went to Africa to chill, and I tell you, you hear a lot of black people say this. Like, when you go to Africa, especially your first time, you have this overwhelming feeling like you're home, which is true. I, I, I had that feeling like, man, this feels like home. I think I felt that way because um, there's a McDonald's in the airport. <laughs> but, so I got my Big Mac. Uh -huh. <laughs> but then it was like, it, got, it just got out of control. Like, I was in Africa, and next thing I know, I started hearing all the stories like comedian Dave Chappelle's in a mental institution in, in South Africa. And I was like, man, I must be losing my mind. Yeah. Because I thought this was the beach. <laughs> yeah. And everybody called me crazy. You know, I mean, uh -huh. it, it yeah, was people, just... You're hearing on the news things like he's gone crazy, which uh, never sounded, that didn't sound right, you know? And well, you know, maybe I know stuff people don't want me to talk about. So right. they, oh, we're going to let other people believe. So they'll call me crazy. Mm -hmm. But it was a weird thing to get called crazy. At first it was scary. And then now I feel like it's liberating. Like, I feel free, like I can just say what I want to do what I want. They already call me crazy. <laughs> so it was like, I, I was in Starbucks this morning, jerking up in this lady's coffee, and I was like, <laughs> I know you read about me. <laughs> I can't hold myself accountable for these things. <laughs> I'm crazy. I can't be responsible. Couldn't control myself. Yeah, yeah. What was, was there, was there a, I mean, uh, what was the reason that you went to Africa? Was there a reason that you decided to go to Africa? Well, there are a few reasons, but, I mean, you know, if you a black dude trying to hide, Africa is a good place. It's a, <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, I can't spit my profile. Yeah. So I, I was, I it's was, like, I'm going to go to Ireland and try and hide Africa. <laughs> argy bargy, <laughs> argy. <laughs> It was, I had, man, I had a good time. And another thing I loved about Africa was the people. You know, they were so warm and, and like, I was, I was talking to them about my problems and they listened, like, they don't know nothing about Chappelle's show. So they just listened and I'd be like, man, you know, I had this show and felt like people was trying to control me. I was freaked out. I don't know, I just had to get out of there. I just walked away. Says $50 million, it's all gone. I'm scared and all this. And they was, hey, they said, hey, they did all this to you, brother. I said, that's how I be doing in America. They said, that's messed up, man. They said, but here in Africa, we have a, a philosophy that helps us get through things like this. You've always got to remember one thing when you go through these problems, Dave. And I said, what's that, brother? And he said, I ate a dog today. <laughs> <laughs> Just grow up. Get over grow yourself. Up, yeah. Get over yourself. <laughs> you don't want $50 million? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo-hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, get over yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It happens, man, you know, but, but it was a, it was definitely a, a, what you call it, a growing experience, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And it does feel like it's liberated you, not to get too heavy, but it does feel like this whole thing has freed you up a little bit, you know? Sure, excuse me one second. <laughs> 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 That'll be the clip they use on the news. <laughs> I, I know, that's Dave was on Conan. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost his mind. <laughs> we were right. He's gone crazy. Uh... I'm going to mention this, Dave Chappelle's Block Party uh, by Michelle Gondry. I mean, this is great. This is great, yeah. This is coming out on DVD, and it's going to be uh, available on uh, June 13th. And i got to tell you, um, it, is a, it is a real pleasure. Just to, I mean, I say this all the time on the show. I say it's a real pleasure to have you come on the program. But I wrote you a little note, and everybody wants to talk to Dave Chappelle. I wrote you a little note. And you responded and said, I'll be there. And it was incredibly nice. Thank you hey, very much. Thank you, Matt. It was really yeah. nice of you to do it. Yeah, he wrote it there. 
You know, we were very happy to have you. You were like the guy we wanted to have. So. Yeah, it's, it, it's my pleasure. And I didn't realize this when I said yes, but do you know that tonight I think is my 22nd time on the show? 22nd time. Right? I've done your show more than Chappelle's show, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks for having me, man. It's always, always a, a rare pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Dave Chappelle, Commons coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.